Logan Craig here, gonna talk about the latest ignorance on the internet about the radioactive water going to be released from Japan. Okay, anytime there's a mainstream report, we just seem to get tons more, uh, million tons more of uh, hotheads who have no clue about radiation or what's involved here. All right, there's about a million tons or more of radioactive water is going to be that they want to release, Japan wants to release from the storage tanks around on you know, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant site. They want to release this water into the Pacific Ocean. There's not really any other choice. They're going to have to do it. Uh, but they have a consortium of scientists that are looking into this, trying to determine what the best method is to deal with the situation. Okay, this water has been removed from the reactor buildings, which three of them melted down, and it's been treated, that's what everybody free fails to mention. This water's been treated. Most all the isotopes have been removed. By simple filtration, basically, most of the isotopes can come out with filtration. However, one element, tritium, cannot be filtered out the same way as the other isotopes can, so they can't really remove the tritium. See, tritium is a, basically it's a hydrogen, uh, a radioactive hydrogen, and when it bonds with oxygen, it's got triated water, tritiated water, and it basically makes the water radioactive, okay? It, it's mildly so, and something else everybody fails to mention, tritium is a natural, <laughs> it's, this tritium is undistinguishable what nature produces from the atmosphere. Yeah, there's trace amounts of tritium everywhere in the world in water, already. <sighs> this water has already been treated the best they can. I see so many ignorant comments on all these comment sections on YouTube videos. Oh, we need to blast it off into space. <laughs> we need to, and Paul Begley says to put it in lead casks, the big giant lead tanks under, under the bottom of the ocean. Uh, are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, there's so much ignorance about this. There's really no other way, way to deal with it but to release it in the water, release it into the ocean. And, and no, it's not going to kill the oceans, and no, the oceans aren't dead. You know, they haven't been dead. It, what everybody else keeps screaming about is, well, they've been doing this for eight years. Well, no, they have, there's been water that has been leaking from the reactors or through groundwater going into the area and going through into the ocean, and they've tried to create an ice wall to stop it, and, and that's been well known for eight years. But no, uh, you got to scream about this. this. This has been treated water. The other ones wasn't treated. What is your problem? This water has been treated. It's been all the, most all, all the isotopes have been removed. So it's safer than the water that's been disposed of in the water, by, not by choice, but by necessity, just by, the, by nature and groundwater flow, the water going into the Pacific Ocean. And no, it hasn't killed the Pacific Ocean. It won't kill the Pacific Ocean. Don't you all realize, and I'll put links all over on the description box about this, don't you realize that so many more thousands of tons of radioactive waste was dumped into the world's oceans for many, many decades by 14 countries? And no, the oceans didn't die. So much more Becquerel's worth of radiation that was released into the ocean for decades and continues to this day, actually. And all power plants, by the way, release tritium into the, into the ocean in the water sources, they all do. I'll post links showing the reports from all the ones in the U.S. anyway, and all the ones all around the world. I guess so many South Koreans trolling my channel too. Did you know South Korea was one of those countries that was dumping nuclear radioactive waste into the ocean, the East Sea, in the 60s and 70s? Uh, and, and also, uh, Seoul is more radioactive than Tokyo? Got, we got so much more uh, uh, South Korean viewers now on the channel because of uh, ignorance and hate. Uh, yes, racist trolls on my channel and all over the internet, dealing with the Olympics, got to ban the Olympics, okay? Maybe you ought to ban travel to Seoul, because Seoul is about three times more radioactive than Tokyo. And <laughs> nuclear power plants in, in Korea also release radioactive water. Always have, always will. That's what power plants have to do. There's not really any other way around it, because you can't really treat this water. It bonds with oxygen, this hydrogen atom bonds with the oxygen, and it be basically becomes indistinguishable to, from water as far as any kind of filtration system goes or pre treatment process. So. It's in the water, there's not much they can do about it. It comes from nature, it comes from the sky. Jesus, get a clue. So the fear mongering continues. Uh, I don't know why we even have to go with topics like this, but just everybody is so stupid on this. It's, this has got to stop. 
quit being so fearful. Anytime you mention the word radiation, it's like a dog whistle for spinning the wheel of stupid. This water is almost safe enough just to drink, really. You can drink small quantity of it, it's not going to hurt you. This is just treated water. And yet, this because of the storage tanks being filled up, and the international cry, because, oh, radiation, we're all going to die, they've basically, this this time, they're just asking basically for permission, if you will, from the international community, well, what do you think we should do with this water? We want to dump it in the sea. Do you have any better ideas? And, of course, there won't be any better ideas, because there are none. That's really the only choice they have. It get, will get so diluted by the world's oceans that you won't be able to measure it anywhere in the world, it, it, any more than you already can measure in the water. And it wasn't because of Fukushima. You can any water sample of any surface water around the world, you're likely to find tritium. It's just nature. So get a clue or get off the internet. I have lots more videos on, on my channel dealing with this type of subject if you're just new to this channel. Uh, and thanks everybody for watching.